In an earlier review, I said, spoilers spoil very little in a show worth seeing again and again. I would not put witness for the prosecution in that category. I saw the play by Agatha Christie 11 years ago. I don't remember anything about the production, but I do remember the conclusion. It's one of the most striking ever by the most popular mystery writer of all time. Precisely because the final scene is so memorable, I could not put it out of my mind when I saw the recent production by the Kirkwood Theater Guild, a dedicated cast performed stylishly under Danny Mann's direction, but because I knew the twist, I could not have the same experience as someone coming to the script fresh. So once again, no spoilers for me. The defendant in this courtroom drama is Leonard Vole, a young man who had struck up a friendship with a woman who was much older and much wealthier. Leonard comes under suspicion when the woman is found dead and he is found to be the chief beneficiary of her will. The prospect of going to trial doesn't faze Leonard because he is sure his wife, Romaine, will provide an alibi. Leonard is in for a surprise, but that's not the surprise I was talking about before. As Leonard, Jeff Wright shrewdly avoided sending clear signals about Leonard's guilt. Heather Sarton was an even more mysterious figure as Romaine. The courtroom scenes featured good characterizations by Will Shaw as the barrister defending Leonard, Ken Lopino as the prosecutor, and Tim Callahan as the judge. Merrick Muller designed appropriate sets for both the barrister's chambers and the courtroom, but Christie did theater companies no favor by requiring a scene change from one set to the other in the middle of the third act. The production got what it needed from Nathan Schrader's lighting, Amanda Jackson's sound, Judy Lewis's props, and Sarah Porter's costumes, makeup, and hair. That's my verdict. Well, I think uh, we'll take your verdict and go with it. <laughs> well, thank you.